Hey guys, it's Sarah. Um, are you sick of seeing this bag everywhere yet, or what? So hopefully you know what that means. Um, I have a haul from the Sephora VIB sale. I have another trip to Sephora. I have a couple Mac things and some drugstore. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, I bought Timothy this Gucci Guilty Black Cologne. I was going to get it at Sephora, but I wasn't sure if he was going to like it. And then when I saw it on sale at Target, I just went ahead and got it for him. And he absolutely loves it. So if um, you have a man that likes the regular Gucci Guilty because uh, my husband does, then um, check out the black because it smells really good too. Then next I got the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer. I got this in Fair. It was hard. I was trying to decide between Fair and Light. And I went with Fair because it is, um, I don't know why I smelt it, it is more beige and light was more yellow and I wanted this to kind of help with the darkness under my eyes. But I don't know how I feel about this product. I used it today and it just seemed like it took forever for the product to come out. I don't know if it's just because it's still new or what, but I'm going to keep using that and I don't know, maybe I'll let you know if I ended up liking it or not. Next is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara. Sorry, I'm a barbarian and I already ripped out of the package and it's gone because I got this stuff ready to pack. And yeah, I got this in very black. This is what the wand looks like. Um, it looks like most other Lash Blast wands except it has this kind of like spiky ball like on the top. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if any other Lash Blast has that. But, um, I wasn't going to pick this up yet, but it was like 10% off on Cartwheel, so I just went ahead and picked it up. Next from the drugstore, no, not from the drugstore, from Target. All this drugstore stuff I got is from Target. Um, I got an e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer powder in the shade Antigua. I originally got this because I thought I was getting the one that was matte. But I, it's not, but the shades still are really nice. Um, the bronzer is really deep and dark. And then the blush is nice and buildable, but um, a lot of shimmer does come off. So if you're not one that likes shimmery blushes, uh, this might not be for you. So the bronzer and the blush, but it is a nice pink shade. Um, it'll look good. Pretty much any time I think bright pink looks good. Probably more people would say like spring and summer, but I like bright any time. Then the last thing I got from Target is the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette. Um, if you see right there, matte, they do have one that's a shimmer. So if you're looking to get the matte one, just make sure you check the back to make sure you're grabbing the, white one, the right one. Because they do look pretty similar in the package. I was debating whether or not I wanted to get this or Maybelline the Nudes, but after reading some reviews and stuff on both of them, I went ahead and got this one. The shades are really nice. The black is extremely pigmented. Um, I swatched these right after I got it and it stained my fingertip black, so now that one's going to be stained. But yeah, I really like it. I haven't used it yet. I've only swatched uh, these two colors. This black and this kind of peachy beige color. Ooh, excuse me. So there those are, the black and then the beige is this one right up here. So yeah, they swatch really nicely. Um, they don't seem to be like really powdery or anything, so I'm excited to see how those go. And then now we have, oh you guys like my Disney Princess towel? Uh, now we have the Sephora stuff. No. No, no. Rewind. Uh, let's do the few MAC things I got. I did get a MAC um, brow pencil in the shade Brunette. Um, as you probably have noticed, I'm really not into brows, and I'm trying to be. So I just picked this up. Um, I figured I'd give something a little bit cheaper than the Anastasia a try before... Um, committing to that but that's the color so uh, I'm not sure I really haven't I really don't do much with my brows and until recently I really didn't do much like with the shape but I'm kind of playing with things and I'm trying to get the right shape and then I'll start using some products 
Then I did get two lipsticks. They are both matte. I happen to like matte dark lips um, on top of like anything else. So first is Diva. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. And that's it right there. Really nice like deep burgundy wineish color. And then the next one I got, I'm so excited for, is a Smoked Purple. There's that right there. And you can tell how much of a noob I am about going to MAC because when I asked the girl for it, um, I asked for Smoked Peach. And then I was like, that's a red one. Just kidding. This is, I meant Smoked Purple. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now on to what I got at Sephora. Um, let's see. Let's do this first. Um, backstory about getting stuff from Sephora. For the VIB sale, I did go to my nearest Sephora inside JCPenney um, on the day the sale opened. Um, this was before I was a, before I was a Rouge member, so I just went, you know, and. They didn't have half of what I wanted there, but I still ended up spending a lot, and I kind of, like, filled things in for the stuff that I didn't get that I wanted. But I wasn't happy with it, so I came home, placed an order online, um, had it sent to my in-law's house, and picked it up when we went for Thanksgiving. And then the second uh, trip that I had was when uh, the $20, like, gift certificate came out, and so I went back and got a couple things that I kind of regretted not getting during the sale, but the sale had already been over, so I couldn't get it. Um, so yeah, first let's start with this. It's, I got the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This is in the shade, uh, Light 48. I got this because I currently have it in Medium 52, and I'm in no way medium skin tone right now. I'm pretty fair. Are pretty light so um, I wanted to pick this up so that way I can uh, have my shade and then when I start to get darker I can mix this in because I did get matched at Sephora and this is what they picked for me. Another foundation I got is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 1. Uh, again just like the Kat Von D I already have this foundation currently but I have it in the shade 3 so I decided to get this because it matches pretty close and then once I get tanner I can add and get my own custom shade as well. And next I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Opal. I don't even know why I'm showing this because I know everybody has seen this a million times but it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, I wore this uh, on Thanksgiving, and it was just stunning. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, oh, and it's so soft and creamy. Like, it doesn't feel like a powder. Oops. So there's that. Then I did get another highlighting um, thing. I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Is it called Ambient Lighting or Light? What does it say? Ambient lighting palette. Okay, cool. Because I always say lighting, but then I feel like it's wrong and it should just be light. But um, here is that. I'm sure you guys have seen it as well. This is radiant light and candescent light and dim light. Haven't used this. I've only swatched it and it looks really nice, so I look forward to using that. And I also got the ambient lighting blush palette. Um, I really am into blush and everything, so I wanted to get this because it looked like it would be nice for when you just want a nice little flush of color and you don't want anything too much. Um, this is Mood Exposure, Incandescent Electra, and then Luminous Flush. Again, haven't worn these yet, but I'm very excited to. What else did I get? What else did I get? Um, when I went back... For the say like the second for my second trip, I got the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White and Black. This is the mini like duo. Um, this is twenty two, I believe, and that's the same price as a full size rollerball. 
but I wasn't sure which one I wanted because when I first smelled these, I really liked the white. And then now that I smell them, I really like the black. I'm wearing the black today and it just smells so good. Like it's just so warm and deep and kind of like musky and masculine but still feminine all at the same time. So I don't know which one I like better but I do like mixing them together. So I'm excited to use those more so that way I can decide which one I like. Maybe I'll end up getting both of them in the full size rollerball. I don't know. Uh, let's move on to lint products. Uh, the first one I'm disappointed about, it's the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Peony. I'm not disappointed because of the product, I'm disappointed on the shade that I selected, only because it's just really light, and now I think that I need to wait until summer before I can wear it. So that's why I'm disappointed. I should have gotten... Melted Fig or Melted Berry or something first, but I didn't, so there's Melted Peony. It's still a really gorgeous color, and I did try on the formula and wear it, and the formula is really nice, but just wish I would have gotten a darker one for now. Um, let's go with um, these Kat Von D Everlasting... Was it Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks? I got three shades. Um, I think one of them I got in stores. No, two of them I got in stores, and one of them I got online. Uh, first, I got Vampira, which is the one order that I placed online. It is really nice, deep color. Oh, it's this oxblood type color. So there is the Vampire, and that's just one swipe. I haven't worn these on the lips yet, but I'm really excited to. And then the two that I ended up picking up in store were Berlin. It's just kind of like a pinky coral color. It's pretty bright. But it's darker than the Melted Peony, so I think it would be acceptable to wear this right now. So there's Berlin. And of course I went looking for Lolita like everybody else but wasn't there. And then the last one I got is Underaged Red. Oh my gosh this is so good. So there's that really like it. I really like the formula. I hope they wear nicely on the lips. Then I did get two NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I definitely wouldn't have bought them if they weren't on sale with the 25% off because $32 is just really expensive for a lipstick and I don't go through lipstick that often. But look at that. This is the shade Charlotte which is another like ox bloody color. But it is a little bit more burgundy than the other one, Vampira. So there is Charlotte. You can see Vampira is more dark and a little bit more brown. Both gorgeous. And like this magnet thing. Awesome. I love it. I don't know who thought of that, but they deserve a raise. And then the second color I got was Raquel. Just a nice basic nude color. Basic. No, it's not basic. It's gorgeous. So there is Raquel right there. Sorry if the sun's going to start coming in. Um, it's starting to set. So I'm going to speed this up. And they, they connect together. Like... They know that they're meant to be together. It's just so cute. Okay, then I did some work with these Bite Beauty Mix and Mingles. Um, I ended up getting three double-ended sticks and two of the matte crayons. So let's start with the matte crayons first. First shade is a deep, like, mauve nude color in Glace. Or Glossé, but I'm not that fancy, so we're going to go with Glace. 
it's really nice. And then the second one that I got, I ended up picking these ones up at the store. They didn't have them the first time I went, but then when I went back for the second time with for my twenty dollar off, it um, they had them. So there is this one, and this is Aberdeen. 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 Yeah, I think that's how you say it. It looks pretty similar to Max Diva. So there's Aberdeen and there's Diva. And they're both matte formula. Aberdeen's a little bit more purple. Of course, there's a difference, right? That's what, like, what all beauty lovers say when something comes up that's like similar. It's like, no, they might look similar, but they're completely different. Like, come on, that's what they all say. Then the Bite Beauty Double Ended Luminous Lip Creams. This one is in date. There's that. Nice light nude. And then Fig, which is this really nice neutral pink. They're both pretty neutral on this stick. Haven't worn these yet. Still working on my. Oh, there's Fig. That was Date. Did I say that? Date? Fig. I'm um, still working on my little mini luminous lip cream in VIB Rouge for my Project Pan, which I'm sure people are like, you are doing Project Pan and look at all this stuff that you're hauling. Sorry, like, Project, what Project Pan means to me is like using my collection and cycling through my products and getting things out the door, not completely halting my collection and not adding anything to it. So hopefully that makes sense. Now this one is in musk. Um, it's a little more mauvey than date. And then this one is in Retsina. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Retsina. And then that is right there. Did I show you that that, that one? I don't, I just don't even know. You need to step up your haul game because this is ridiculous already. <laughs> just a couple more products in a hurry before the sun comes in. Then the last double ended is Scarlet. I'm very excited to wear this shade. Scarlet. And then this is Poppy. And there's Poppy. Nice bright red. So that's all the lip colors that I got. I think I got enough. Because I think I probably got too many. Then with my online purchase, I end up getting the Hourglass Mineral Veil primer packet. Um, that was the only sample that I was interested in. And then I did cash in 100 points for the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Um, it's pretty nice. I used it once already and that's not too bad. The brush is pretty nice. It's kind of, it's like most, it looks like a brush that I would normally go towards. And then the last two were the main reasons why I went back to Sephora to use my $20 um, gift certificate, and that is the NARS Virtual um, Dominance Palette. Domination, my bad. I'm sure you've seen it. The packaging is gorgeous. Besides um, these, this is the only NARS I've ever had, and I'm really excited because it seems like a really good brand. But yeah, everybody raved about this, and I kicked myself for not getting it during the sale. So I had to go back and get it. From my understanding, this is bigger than a full size of Laguna. So I'm really excited about that. I'd like to try it. And then um, three really nice blushes. And then I heard this um, highlight kind of sucks. But we'll see. You never know. I might like it. So I went for that. And then I also went for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. This is the first Anastasia product that I've owned, like, like I own, 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to start using that. Hopefully it helps step up my makeup game. But yeah, those are all the things that I got. If you guys could see what's in front of me, it's pretty sad. But yeah, um, I did order some more things online from like a bunch of places. I'm going to try, I'm going to try not to buy anything um, because I really don't need anything. It's just n new things are always so like fancy and you got to have them. But yeah, so that completes this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to do better in my next haul. I know this was kind of all over the place. But let's talk about these lip swatches though. I mean, I did pretty good on those, even though I think I forgot to show you some of them. Anyways, um, if you like this video, go ahead and like it so I know that you like hauls. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you can see more videos made by me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!